this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to some warehouse club stores. I mean, if before you got into raw foods, maybe you had a warehouse club store because you know you'd go there and buy food in bulk. But one of the problems with the warehouse club stores is that they sell mostly packaged and processed foods in bulk, and those are not the foods that are good for you to eat. You wanna eat nature's foods or fresh produce. So the best source of produce is if you grow it yourself, and if you can't do that, you know, you need to get the highest quality possible, such as at a local farmer's market or health food store. But that being said, the uh, big warehouse store can be very beneficial to you as somebody who wants to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables because they basically buy in bulk and then you buy it in bulk and then you'll save more money. So today we have the rare opportunity to visit three different competing warehouse club stores, all the major brands in the US. We're gonna visit Sam's Club, we're right outside Sam's Club. We're going to visit that first. Then we're going to visit the BJ's Club, which is mostly on the uh, East Coast of the United States. Then we're going to visit Costco. So some club stores may carry more or less organics depending on where in the country you are. So I know an example in Summerlin, Las Vegas, Costco store, they carry organic foods there at that store that I can't even find in California. So I don't know how they figure out what store is going to get what, maybe by the store volume and how much stuff they move or maybe by you know how affluent the area is the more affluent the area the more organics they carry so you also want to check some of the other stores around you like say there's a sam's club here and a sam's club five miles or ten miles away from you they might carry a little bit different stuff and that has been my experience with costco that being said i am a costco fan overall so it'll be fun for me to compare the prices and also the organic selection at these different stores so now we're outside Sam's Club and we're gonna go inside and see what kind of fresh produce and other raw foods you could buy inside Sam's Club so that you can save money and eat raw wherever there's a warehouse store. So we're here inside Sam's Club in the produce section and I'm gonna take you around and show you what kind of organic produce they have and also the non-organic produce that I would buy in some, on some occasions. So uh, let's come and check it out. So they only have a few organic items here at Sam's and uh, one of them is the uh, organic spring mix here in these uh, boxes for $4.27. Another organic item they have is the uh, baby spinach here. Once again, one pound for $3.97. So the last thing they have here at Sam's that's organic is the uh, baby carrots and they're three pounds for $3.98. So some other things I might get here at Sam's or other warehouse stores are the greenhouse grown produce. So it's not organic, but you know, it's better than conventional. And usually in the greenhouse, they don't usually spray unless they have to. And they may use IPM or integrated pest management. So what they have here, or they have the uh, English seedless cucumbers, and that's uh, $3.90 for three. And they also have a uh, sweet bell peppers, a rainbow uh, six pack for $6.83. But uh, my favorite actually would be these guys here, Ancient Sweets. Uh, this is two pounds for uh, $6.98. They also have tomatoes, none of which are organic, but once again, I would go for the uh, hothouse grown or greenhouse grown. And they have, these are my favorite, the Tempari still on the vine. And they're basically two pounds, greenhouse grown, vine ripened. Uh, here at Sam's, they're $5.37. So sometimes I'll even get the avocados at a warehouse store. And uh, here at Sam's, it's a uh, five count avocados for uh, $4.50. So that's pretty good. It's less than uh, $1 each. And these are, once again, non-organic. And I do eat non-organic avocados sometimes. So there's not a whole lot of organic produce here. But one of the things I would get, you know, on occasion are these uh, papayas. These are actually Caribbean red papayas from Belize. And they're actually quite delicious. I love them a lot. And here at Sam's, they're only $3 each. So uh, you want to pick the largest one and... These ones should be mostly yellow and a little bit soft to the touch. And they will ripen up, uh, you know, once you get them home a little bit. Last thing I might get at Sam's, and I do eat non-organic pineapples occasionally, but they are sprayed with fungicides. And here they are right here, and they're uh, $2.92 here at Sam's Club. So another area that you may be able to find something to buy here at these warehouse stores are the frozen fruit section. So the frozen fruits um, generally are can be considered raw because they're not blanched, but the frozen vegetables are, have been blanched before. So they have like berries and I don't usually buy, uh, or non-organic berries, they have non-organic berries here. But what I would get here at Sam's is the uh, basically pineapple chunks. Uh, five pounds of pineapple chunks, $8.28. There's a bag there. Of course, freshest is always bestest and it's better to buy your own pineapples and freeze them. 
than to uh, you know buy them frozen. So in the summertime, it's great to use these like through the juicer to make uh, some pineapple sorbet. Definitely delicious, or even in the blender. So here are the frozen vegetables, and all the frozen vegetables, whether organic or not, basically they've been blanched, so they are not considered raw. And it's I think it's really sad that even some. Uh, raw food restaurants use the like things like frozen peas in their recipes. They shouldn't because they're really not raw They have been blanched and cooked. So if you want your own frozen veggies You know what grow them yourself or buy them fresh and then freeze them and then they will be raw But once again fresh is, is always bestest So here's the nut section and you can get some uh, nuts although they may not be truly raw like uh, for example these uh, whole almonds here It's a uh, 48 ounces for 963 and uh, these have been uh, pasteurized, either uh, steam pasteurized or actually worse, chemically pasteurized. Uh, what you could get maybe is the uh, shelled walnuts over here. It's uh, 48 ounces for $13.28. Or actually I think I would prefer the uh, pecans. Pecans here, 32 ounces for $14.65. And that seems a little bit expensive to me. I think they're actually cheaper at Whole Foods. So now we're outside BJ's Wholesale Club and this is another warehouse type store. And you know, with all these warehouse type stores, you gotta pay an annual membership fee to even go in there and go shopping. So some of the times those membership fees are $50 or more a year, and sometimes you could divvy that up between like two people and maybe it'd be like 25 per person. So you could like uh, get you and your mom or you and your dad or you and your boyfriend or girlfriend or you and a friend. And a another thing you could do in some of these warehouse stores, I know they don't do this at Sam's, but at uh, BJ's, you could get actually a one day pass and basically you pay the price posted plus an extra surcharge, and that's because you're not a member. So the question is, is it really worth the $50 annual membership fee to you know, save some money each time you purchase your organic produce or your produce or whatever you're purchasing at BJ's? So I would tend to say that if you're only purchasing your produce and you're just getting this to save money on produce, it's probably not too good of a deal. I mean, if you shop you know, one time per week and get like one bin or uh, one pound of baby greens, you might save a dollar, two dollars over Whole Foods. And then over the year, you'll definitely save your $50. But you know what, if you're gonna shop at BJ's and buy other things also, you'll save money on, then it's probably worth it. But if you're just buying organic food to eat, then it's probably not too worth it. So we're gonna go inside next, and we're gonna see some of the prices and uh, see if it's gonna be worth it for you. So now we're inside BJ's in the produce section, and you know what, they have a wide selection of produce like a lot more than uh, Sam's Club, but not a lot of it is organic. So we're gonna look at some of the organic things and also the non-organic things that I would buy here at BJ's. So uh, let's check it out. But they have basically an organic girl 50-50 blend of 50% spring mix and 50% baby spinach, $4.99. And next door they have the, uh, once again, one pound baby spinach. Once again, that's $4.99. And uh, next door they have uh, the baby spring mix, and once again that's $4.99, so the Sam's Club is actually a little bit less expensive. Uh, let's move down over here, they also have the organic baby carrots, and that's uh, $2.99 for two pounds. But the best deal for the carrots are right here, the uh, bag of five pound carrots for $3.99. So they also have the greenhouse grown peppers here. And uh, once again, the, uh, they have a six pack here, sweet red bells, and that's uh, $6.99. And uh, next door over here, they have the uh, multicolor pack, and I encourage you to eat your fruits of color. So this is a nice uh, set because you have red, uh, orange, and the yellow peppers. Each one have unique, different antioxidants. That's uh, $7.99 for a six pack. And uh, just like Sam's, they have these uh, ancient sweet peppers, which I like a lot. And that's uh, two pounds for $6.99. My favorite hothouse grown product they have here actually is these uh, cucumbers. And these uh, cucumbers are gourmet uh, mini cucumbers grown in a greenhouse. And uh, they're $4.99 for an eight count package. And that's uh, one pound. They also have the uh, regular English cucumbers. And that's in a two pack here at BJ's and that's uh, $2.99. So here are the tomatoes at BJ's and they have definitely a wider selection. They have the uh, beefsteak uh, greenhouse grown tomatoes and then they have the uh, Campari tomatoes and I like the Camparis the best and here the Camparis are $5.49 for two pounds. And then uh, finally over here they also have a greenhouse grown cherry tomatoes so that's really cool. Two pounds for six dollars and 
49 cents for the great tomatoes. So here BJ's, the uh, avocados for four of them are $4.79. It's not quite as good as Sam's. And next door, they have these, uh, the large papayas. And uh, they're more expensive at $3.99. Plus these ones are from Guatemala. So I prefer the ones from Belize much better. But they also seem to have a wider selection here at BJ's. They even have like a mature brown coconut. So here's the pineapples. Once again, this is just for price comparison compared to uh, Sam's, and they're $2.99 uh, per pineapple here at BJ's. So now we're in the frozen section here at BJ's, and I like this selection more than actually at Sam's because they got one of my favorite things. Uh, let's see, the mango chunks. So here are the mango chunks, four pounds for $7.99. So that's about $2 a pound. And uh, these are non-organic, by the way. It's hard to find organic mango chunks, but they do have them available sometimes. But I would use these in a pinch. And uh, next door here, they have uh, wild blueberries. I wouldn't necessarily get those. It's three pounds for $6.99. And then what I would get, actually, is the organic uh, triple berry blend, $9.99 for three pounds. So this has uh, organic strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries, $9.99. So definitely, a, uh, this was much better in the way of frozen fruits here at BJ's. So here is the nut section at BJ's, and BJ's, once again, the whole almonds, three pounds for $9.99, there's a the whole almonds. Once again, these are pasteurized. So next, the walnuts, uh, three pounds of walnuts, shelled walnuts, non-organic, once again. Uh, they are $12.99 for three pounds, 48 ounces. So next, we got the uh, pecans, and the uh, price actually above it says for almonds, but these are the pecans, it's 24 ounces but they should be a fairly good price here based on the other nut prices. And finally here at uh, BJ's, they have uh, pine nuts. And these are eight ounces of pine nuts for $11.99. So that's actually like $23.98 per pound. That's definitely pretty expensive for pine nuts. And these pine nuts are from China. So if you are gonna get nuts, it's always best to get your uh, nuts in the shell. Here's a three pound bag uh, for $7.99. These are conventional, but uh, the uh, nuts basically, once they're out of the shell, they could go rancid quicker. So the uh, basically the shell gives the uh, nut their natural protection. And the other benefit is that you're going to eat them much slower because you're going to have to shell them as you need to eat them. And that does, definitely takes a while. And it's not good to eat too many nuts. So one of the coolest things here at BJ's is actually not even in the produce section. It's these guys. They sell real pineapple plants and you can grow a pineapple inside. And actually, even once this grows up into the full-size pineapple, and it's probably not going to grow that big for you, you could actually replant it and it'll uh, you know, grow another one. <laughs> so you could have an endless supply of pineapples. It's always better to grow and produce your own food than to be a consumer and buy your food, especially here at a warehouse store. So much better to support your local farmers or grow your own. So now we're outside the third and final warehouse store. So far, I think I like BJ's the most, but now we're gonna go into Costco wholesale, you know, and I've even been in Costco's in London. <laughs> so they have Costco's actually all around the world. And I'm actually a member here. So let's come inside and see what kind of produce they have and other foods you can eat on a raw foods diet inside Costco. So now we're inside Costco and we're going to check out the organic produce and non-organic produce that they have here that you may buy if you're into living in raw foods and eat lots of produce. So we're here inside the Costco walk-in cooler and we're going to check the prices and see what organic produce they have available at this Costco. Now the thing to remember is every Costco is going to be a little bit different. Some may carry more or less organic produce depending on the area. So uh, once again, your mileage may vary. That's why MMV on uh, the organic produce your local Costco carries. So you want to check that out before you get a membership. And remember, your membership is always 100% fully refundable at Costco. And they have uh, organic Bunny Love carrots. These are by far the sweetest carrots to juice with. Nice 10 pound bag there. And it's uh, $6.49. That's just uh, it's basically 65 cents a pound. Then uh, next door, they have the uh, organic uh, baby peeled carrots and that's a uh, 549 for five pounds so here at Costco they also have the baby cucumbers and that's in a two pound bag these ones are actually probably the best that I could get during the off season when I'm not growing them and that's a uh, two pounds for five dollars and 79 cents then uh, next door they have the uh, standard uh, English cucumbers hothouse grown three counts for 399 and uh, here they are right here looking good in the pack Oh, and also a good tip when you're selecting your produce, you want to try to reach down to the box on the bottom and the, and the boxes in the back. 
because they always put the the stock in front that needs to, that's going to expire the soonest so you want to get the stuff from the back that's the freshest and next over here they have the uh, standard uh, six pack of red bell peppers hot house grown once again and the six count here at Costco is uh, $5.99 and it's always the case that the uh, multicolor pack orange red and yellow packs of peppers cost more $6.99 the other organic foods they have here at Costco, of course, are the organic spring mix. So they uh, have the earthbound spring mix, one pound. And uh, here at Costco, it's $4.29. And uh, you always want to check the uh, expiration date, which is printed right here. And once again, you're going to want to look either in the back or the bottom of the stack to get the uh, expiration dates. That's the furthest from the date of today. Uh, next door here, they have the uh, organic baby spinach. And that's $4.29, uh, basically, per pound in a container. Another thing I like a lot at Costco is this stuff right here. This is actually living butter lettuce. So this stuff is literally still alive when you get it. It comes in this uh, big package here. And uh, it still has roots on it. And it still is grown. So these were grown like hydroponically. These ones are always my favorite. I prefer these uh, that are greenhouse grown over even organic spring mix because these are much more alive they're still growing they still got the roots on them and you know i haven't tried yet to buy these and then plant them in the ground and see what happens if they still grow or not but uh that wouldn't surprise me they have organic celery hearts at this costco uh basically a four pack of celery hearts for 2.99 so that's a really good deal and uh, let's check out some of the other organic things they have here at this costco so they also have organic blueberries at costco it's uh 24 ounces, that's a one and a half pounds. And that's one of the lowest prices I've seen. It says $6.49 or $4.32 a pound. They also have organic apples here at this Costco and uh, $1.23 per pound on the Fuji's, $6.79. $1.18 a pound for the Galas, $6.49. They're in these uh, non-crushable packages. $1.08 a pound for these uh, Granny Smiths. It's $5.99. So here's a uh, organic pink ladies. That's a $6.49 for a package. The best deal by far is this. Organic red delicious apples, 10 pounds, $7.49. So that's 74 or 75 cents a pound. So here at Costco they have a wider selection of tomatoes than the other uh, warehouse stores. They have these uh, two pounds of the great tomatoes uh, grown in the greenhouse, $6.49. Then uh, next door, they have the uh, Ro Ro Roma tomatoes on the vine, $4.99 for two pounds. And the uh, Campari tomatoes for two pounds is uh, $5.49. And uh, these are the best tasting tomatoes out of all the tomatoes they sell here at Costco, in my opinion. And once again, these are uh, greenhouse grown and uh, vine ripened. So you always want to try to get the darkest produce. So these ones are nice and red, and you can see these ones ne next door, the beef steaks. These are like almost pink, and they're hard as rocks. These don't have any flavor. These have much more flavor. And when I'm selecting the produce here at Costco, actually I'll pick through the different ones, you know, and try to get ones that have like mostly dark red tomatoes. Because you know what? Those are going to be the ripest, and they're going to taste the best. So the avocados here at Costco uh, for five avocados are... Uh, $5.49. Right, so here at Costco they have the, uh, once again, the Caribbean red papayas. And uh, these ones here are my favorite. They're $2.99. And then next door they have the golden papayas, uh, four count clamshell from Brazil. And for a while they were actually stamping these with like no GMO, but I don't see that they say that now. Finally, for price comparison, once again, they have the pineapples here at Costco for uh, $2.99 each. So let's check the frozen fruit section here at Costco and see what they got. Oh, and here's uh, organic blueberries. Uh, let's see, that's uh, three pounds of organic blueberries. Right there, organic blueberries, $10.99. And oh, let it, let's see what, what they got next door. Organic peaches. So uh, these organic peaches, frozen peaches, California grown. Uh, four pounds, six ninety nine. That's definitely a good good deal for peaches, especially when they're out of season here in the winter time. And lastly, they have the uh, organic berry supreme. So this berry supreme has raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries, all frozen, all in one, 
three pounds for $9.99. So here's the nut section at Costco. And the almonds, once again, they're from California. So they uh, conventional and have been pasteurized. Uh, 48 ounces for $9.99. Next door here, they have the uh, pecans. And uh, pecans are uh, 32 ounces for $14.99. So here are the walnuts at Costco, and the walnuts at Costco, once again, these are non-organic walnuts, 48 ounces for $13.59. And the final nut they have here are the pine nuts. And the pine nuts are uh, $29.99 for 24 ounces. And uh, there are the pine nuts. So overall, BJ's and Costco have the best and widest selection of nuts. So another thing you might want to get here at Costco, and you know, Costco I've, seems to have you know more organic uh, stuff than other places. Here's a organic golden flax that's actually pre-milled and ground for you, and that's a uh, 48 ounces for seven dollars and 89 cents. Now that's not too bad of a price, but I always encourage people to basically buy their own flax and grind it up yourself in a little small coffee grinder or Vitamix because it's always best to grind it right before you use it, uh, because you know once you do grind it up. It can uh, definitely oxidize and go rancid. So also in Costco, they have some uh, dried pineapple. So super sweet golden pineapple, and it's uh, organic. And uh, let's see, that's uh, one pound for $8.99. And the next door here, they have the uh, Gourmet Jumbo Black Mission Figs. Once again, that's uh, great tasting organic. 32 ounces, so that's two pounds for $7.99. So Costco even has sun-made California organic raisins. And uh, let's see, that's uh, four pounds for $7.59, so that's $1.89 a pound. That's actually a pretty good price. So most of the other dried fruit here at Costco is worthless. It has things like dried fruit and sugar and sulfur dioxide. So uh, I wouldn't bother with anything else in the dried fruit section. Costco is also a good source for the Quasionart 14 cup food processor and uh, definitely a good price at $149 and uh, there it is. Don't get your blender at Costco, they have the uh, Quasionart Smart Power blender uh, at $68.99 but this is not durable enough or nor will it micronize the food enough that we want on a raw food diet. So uh, visit discountjuicers.com for uh, the Vitamix or the Blendtec blender. So even better than buying your fruit to eat at Costco, you know, plant a tree. They have a uh, packaged fruit trees, assorted varieties, $11.99. And uh, things like uh, peach trees you could buy, nectarines. And you know what? A fruit tree is a gift that keeps on giving. Year after year, just give it some proper care and soil nutrition. And uh, you'll be eating some delicious fruits year after year. And they also have blueberry bushes, two pack, uh, twelve sixty nine. So uh, you can grow your own blueberries. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour of BJ's, Sam's Club, and Costco. Uh, definitely my pick is Costco because Costco, basically they have a, they're a pretty good company. You know they treat their workers well, and they have what what I call the uh, lifetime return policy. So if anything you buy at Costco, besides computers and some electronics, uh, you're not satisfied with, you could return it for a full refund. And same thing with their membership. Say you buy the membership for a year, and then you're not happy with the membership for whatever reason after nine months, 10 months, you could return the membership and you can get a full refund. And plus, in my opinion, they seem to have a larger selection, depending on your store, um, on the organic produce. Some other tips besides shopping at warehouse stores are, you know, go to your local organic produce reseller, uh, whether it's a health food store or wherever, and ask them to buy and purchase by the case. Generally, you'll get a case discount, and in some cases, it's definitely a good deal. You know, I, unless you had a large family, I wouldn't be buying cases of lettuce, but you could buy a case of oranges and apples and things and carrots and things that'll last, especially if you're doing a lot of juicing, and you know, you'll burn through that stuff so fast. Also check your local farmer's market and they're usually gonna cut you a really good deal, especially if you go at the end of the market. That's gonna save you a lot of money buying by the case or buying in bulk. So uh, hopefully you've learned that you can eat raw out of a warehouse store and what is available. So once again, this is John Kohler with OKRAW.com. We'll see you next time and keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables.